In this problem, we're going to be finding the angle between two vectors. In my previous video, I went over the dot product of two, uh, of two vectors. And we're going to be using that and combining it together to look at this. There is an equation that you need to know. And it is cos theta will equal u dot v over the modulus of, of u and the modulus of v. So what this basically means is cos theta is going to be i plus j dot i minus 3j divided by the modulus of i plus j and the modulus of i minus 3j. So in the previous video we went over how to do the dot product of something and all that is is the, the first uh, uh, a unit times the, the first unit of the second vector add the second unit times the second unit of the vector. So it would be this times this plus this times this. So as you can see we're going to get 1 times 1 plus 1 times minus 3 on our top here. And on the bottom, we're going to have to take the modulus of this, which is going to be 1 squared plus 1 squared, all square rooted. So that's 1 squared plus 1 squared, all square rooted. That is root 2. We'll then look at this part here. And this is going to be, if I just take a little side bit here, it's going to be 1 squared plus minus 3 squared all square rooted. So that's going to be 1 plus 9, which is going to be square root of 10. So here we have a square root of 10. So let's simplify this even a bit more. And we will have 1 minus 3 on the top, which should equal minus 2. And then on the bottom, we have root 20 which then equals 1 over root 5. So now the next step that we're going to take is we know that cos theta equals 1 over root 5. Now this is basic GCSE where you see your theta is going to equal your arc cos. Oh, sorry, I missed the minus here. There we go, that, was, that would have been cheeky. Yep, yeah, minus, minus, minus. So minus 1 over root 5. So um, they might ask you to put that into radians or degrees, but we're going to be roughly, a little squiggly line, it will come to, if you plug it into your calculator, you should get theta to be 116.6 degrees. So that is how you use this formula to find out the angle between two vectors.